Alright guys, so I have a small video for you. Um, this is the Back to Summer Patch 63.5. I don't know why they've called it that, but whatever. Basically an interim patch between 63 and 64, of course. Um, this patch hopefully will address the huge number of hackers that have been in the game. Because like I've said multiple times, two or three days after the patch, the VIP hack comes out, then a couple of days or so after that, a public hack comes out that everyone can get their hands on. This is just the way it is, guys. I've said this multiple times. I even do a little thing where I will go and speak with, like, these uh, Blackshot hack Facebook pages and see. And they will say to me, yes, we've got a new updated hack. So, yeah. We gain training session. June the 28th till July the 12th. If you can um, play in these matches, Friday to Sunday basically, you'll have two chances to win. On both weekends I think that is, because I think that's two weekends, yep. So what you have to do is you have to get 100 kills in each TDM map, and it tells you the maps. The maps are Rio, Rock 2 and Training. You have to get 40 kills in each TFM match. The TFM matches are Sandstorm, Broken Cage and Savage Garden. 50 kills in each SD map. The SD maps are Hans Cargo, Lands Cafe, Land Cafe, I should say, and Lab. 10 wins. Win 10 matches in each mode. Now that is mode, so you need to win 10 matches in the TDM maps, 10 matches in the TFM matches, 10 matches in the SD matches. You also need to get MVP at least once in one of the maps. Any of the maps, any of those nine maps, you need to get MVP once. Alright, so that means, you know, work your ass off, try and get yourself an MVP sometime. The rewards will be gifted between the 4th of July till the 11th of July. So that means that if you complete the mission on the first weekend, you'll get your rewards probably around the 4th of July. If you complete them on the, the second weekend, you'll get them at the, you know, the 11th of July. 11th slash 12th probably okay so now we're moving on to this summer let's press play on the killing spree from june the 28th to july the 12th send us your best black shot killing moments the top five killing sprees will win bsc prizes record your best killing spree or play the upload it on youtube send us over on the forum post top five killing spree videos judged by our gms and staff will win a bsc weapon so this is quite nice, um, this is I suppose, you know, I want to be completely honest and see what I'm, you know, see what I see here. I see them trying to encourage more people to make YouTube videos for Blackshot and giving you little BSC rewards for doing it. That's what I personally see. Now some people are going to say, oh it's just a little competition, shut up. That's fine, but I personally do see that they're trying to get more people inside Blackshot to make more videos for Blackshot on YouTube to get more coverage of Blackshot on YouTube. It's like a bit of free advertisement for them, really. And they're willing to give you a BSC item. So get your killing sprees, whether you're a knife sort of pro -y type person and you want to go around getting killing sprees with the knife, or whether you're a sniper specialist, or whatever it is, headshot specialist with rifle. Bam, 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 get your killing spree. I will try my best to do a killing spree video. Um, you know, and see how it is, really. I mean, I know what maps I like, I know what guns I'll probably be able to use, and let's just see. I expect one of the top five to probably have some twat with the Bren tuning, headshotting everyone, or owning everyone with the Bren tuning. I hope they don't accept that as a killing spree, but they probably will, because, you know, BSC for the win. Protect the GM. Our GM team needs your help, whatever. Um, help your favourite GM to stay alive much as possible and get you and your teammates awesome BSC prizes. Every Friday they're going to have a little GM event. I don't personally give a fuck. Do what you want guys. I don't have any faith. I have almost zero faith in, in almost every GM. So what can I say? Blazing summer deals here or summer blazing deals here. We've got the super deal apparently. I sort of agree because the gun is very good. It's the FMG white. FMG 9 white, I should say, tuning edition. It is good, it's very powerful, minimal recoil if you use tactical 2, uh, if you can manage it, 
it's fine. It kills people very quickly at mid to short range. Long range, of course, you know, you're going to have to tap fire and get a couple rounds in like that. Then we've got the AS AKS-74U Red. Now, when this was released, this was like the gun to go to, actually, the SMG that a lot of people were using. I'm not sure if they've done some changes to that. If they have, then, of course, that isn't going to be the gun to go to quite as much. MP7 Aurum. Nice thing about this is it does have an, um, a laser sight or a dot sight. You can scope in properly with this weapon, and it does have, when you scope in, it does have pretty much zero recoil. Um, good weapon, okay. Beretta 93R. Now, this is about as close as you're going to get to the Beretta Xmas edition. This is a, pretty much the closest you will get to it. He very high fire rate. Can kill people very quickly, but does have quite a small mag, if I remember correctly. Um, and is reasonably high on recoil. But this is as close as you're going to get to that OP Christmas gun that they released last year. Another super deal, AK-47 Black. I think this is trying to bait some of the people who don't understand what guns are good inside the game into buying this gun. I'm not sure that it's changed at all. I'm not sure that it's got better or not. Probably not. I know the AK Black was the gun to go to, but they nerfed it just into the ground and they've never really brought it back up to its godly status that it used to be in. Um, if I can get my hands on it, I'll give it a test and show you. Um, from what I remember, the gun performs pretty similar to how the AK Red Frog performs and the AK Tiger, and you know that those BSC guns are also pretty shit. I mean, you can get BP ones that are better. Uh, another pistol is the Taurus Judge. We Now, we know the Taurus Judge is a good pistol. It's a little bit temperamental. Sometimes you can one-hit kill people, sometimes it takes a couple shots. It can headshot reasonably well. It's not a bad pistol. It's also not stupidly OP because it really is a bit of a hit and miss sort of situation. Not bad though, if you want a pistol. What I will what I will say is, it's not the best pistol for quick switching between your sniper and your pistol. This one now has that stupid flick up animation that looks retarded. I would stick with a Glock if I was you personally. Your choice. XP and BP bonuses. Okay, if you need some bonuses, face camo Brazil, buy your Brazil face camo, go and stay on Brazil server. Thank you. Super deal again, Mantis package. <sighs> if you use Mantis okay when you're sniping, you are a loser in my book because you're just taking a shortcut. Mantis is designed for people who just cannot snipe. I cannot snipe, but I'm not using Mantis because I want to learn how to snipe properly. Mantis just takes that away by allowing you to snipe while you're moving. That is not how it works. You don't get a steady shot. It's not realistic, and I know black shot isn't realistic, but that is just not realistic. There's no way that snipers can run around full speed and, uh, you know, comfortably snipe people, unless they're very skilled, of course. Super deal, again, Arctic Package 630 BSC. Arctic Package is a mixed bag for me. I feel like they fucked up a little bit, but I also feel like they did some good things. I like the fact you get a custom grenade. That's nice. The snowman is a very nice grenade. The wolf fang is OP as fuck. Very, very good knife. Very OP. If you see people who are reasonably good with knife using it, they will usually shit on people. Glock, again, very good for quick switching. It's the BSC one, of course, so even better than the BP version. Very good for the quick switch between the rifle or the sniper. Cool. HK Snow, very good, very competent, does a good job. Not as good as the top pro guns, of course, but very good nevertheless. The Spas Lone Wolf, again, is, is pretty good. Um, very good if you use Paratrooper and you use the Blitz ability as well. They work very good with it and it gets a good fire rate, very powerful. PSG Arctic Wolf, remember correctly. This one for me... Another one that's very good, um, it, it performs very well. Now, okay, some people are going to argue it doesn't single shot kill people, that's true. But what I will say is it has almost zero recoil, it's like you're using a fucking Bren tuning in sniper form. And if you test this gun out, you will notice that you can double tap people very easy. So what you do is you scope, you bam bam, two, head, two hits in the body, done. So it isn't a single kill, yes, but it's a, it's like a, a semi-auto. Well, it's it's a full auto, pretty much, isn't it, bloody hell? Uh, 
sniper and you can double tap people very quickly with it so actually i would say that in some cases it's even better than some of the powerful one hit killers because um, if people have 115 health and they have armor 4 this one can still double tap that of course whereas some other guns will fire one and then you'll have to reload or change switch weapon to get a faster shot or whatever it is so i think that it's pretty good my one complaint about the arctic package is you cannot use all three of those guns at once so it is a situation that one gun is pretty much sitting idle doing nothing but the nice thing is with the new system now you don't have to activate that gun so you can use that gun at a later date so the packages are becoming more um, advantageous because you save money and then you just switch up to the other weapon that's inside the package at another date so that's what I will say so there we go that's just my little overview of what's going on in Blackshot with this little update. Hope that you appreciate the update, guys. You know, hopefully it's patched the hacks. We will see. If there are hacks, you know I will complain and straight away tell you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.